Hello everybody, it's Raymond from Transform Your Dog and today I'm going to teach you the importance of place. Place is a very important practice that I highly recommend you start adding to your repertoire. To teach your dog a place, simply leash them up and have a designated spot for your dog to go to. It could be a bed, it could be a cot, it could be a blanket, it could be a mat. The importance is that you're telling them that this object is now going to be a place where you start to calm down and relax. I highly recommend just using the dog bed. So once you have your dog leashed up, direct them over to the spot. You may get some resistance, but be patient. Your dog doesn't understand what's happening. Once you get your dog on the spot and they land on the spot, make sure you give them feedback. Yes, watch your pitches. If it's too much high pitch, your dog will get excited and the likelihood of them actually staying in that spot starts to diminish. So make sure you are calm and neutral. Place, yes, and then no. Don't overcorrect. no, 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 no. Don't repeat, yes, place, 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 place. Your dog only needs four seconds for them to understand what you are saying. Allow that four seconds for them to sink in. Remember, it's just sound to them. But once you say it repeatedly, they'll start understanding that there is specific action to this sound. When I say place, you go over to this bed and you calm down. I'm going to walk away. The owner walks away. And then once a certain duration, you come back and say, release. I highly recommend having a release word in your repertoire as well. Break, done, release, whatever you want. Do not use common words that you say on a constant daily basis, such as, okay. A lot of people say, okay, in a random conversation. So you put your dog in place, you have a conversation with somebody, okay, nice to see you. Dog gets up and walks away. <laughs> so you don't notice it because you're distracted. So do not use common words. Place is very important to teach your dog that once you put them in this spot, you can go answer the door. I highly, highly recommend to start adding some distractions. Let your dog practice for 20, 30 times and then once they get that, start adding distractions. Whatever triggers your dog. If you know your dog triggers the doorbell, have a guest come over or have your significant other ring the doorbell while your dog's in place. One person's job is to keep the dog in place. The other person's job is to ring the doorbell, knock on the door, and simulate a guest situation. And then once your guests actually come over, I guarantee you, your dog's reaction to them will start to diminish. They'll start to calm down. They'll start to relate the doorbell with calmness. That's the importance of place. Place is a spot where your dog can relax, can calm down, and feel safe. And if you have multiple dogs and they have issues with space, this is an important command to teach them. You're going to start laying together. You're going to start working together and you're going to start living together. Therefore, act right. So, practice place every day. It's very important to be consistent. To this day, my dogs are 10 years old and I still practice place because it's a great command to teach them to use it in the car or if I want to go to a baseball game or if I just want to go to a field and have a picnic and not worry about them run, wandering off. I can bring a blanket with me, lay him on the spot, place, and he stays there until I say the magic words. Break. So remember, break is not a command. Break allows your dog to know your job is done. Place is done. It's a job. You're more than welcome to go get a drink of water go to the bathroom, or come hang out or grab some treats. But when I put you in place, you stay in place no matter what's happening around you. Your dog will start to understand that it no longer needs to feel the need to protect or guard or be anxious or be just alert constantly. Place is a great way for them to calm down and listen and observe. I guarantee you, if your dog is meeting your guests or friends at a 10, you know, barking and freaking out, a place is a great way for them to start coming down to a level where you can start managing them. So again, consistency is the key. Don't take it personal. And remember, if your dog is giving you a hard time, they're having a hard time. So be patient, but always practice. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.